answer if I could. Hmm. What do you want, Charlie? I wonder if I could give this to her. Hmm. Hi. I don't know how to do this. Hold on, guys. I hate this setting, dude. Yeah, see, that's the problem. I don't have um I don't have us saved on this account. That's the problem. I'm trying to <clears throat> I need to take a day off. That's what I need to do. How is everybody? I'm gonna try to send this to us though. Hey, how are you? I know I I was wondering where you went, but you're like me. You get you get banned a lot. So I figured you'd pop up. Sometimes like my FYP will will bring me to you know what I mean? So it has hold on, I gotta take care of something real quick. Because we ain't about to have this. You know? Sorry. Hold on, y'all. Hey. How are you? Well, I've got to put this down for a second, but I'll pick you back up so that the sound isn't wonky. How is everybody? I am... I feel like... No. Uh, rain. My mom doesn't really get snow, though. Here. It doesn't snow much here. I got, I got a crazy dude in my YouTube comments. What up, Rufa? How are you? I, I've been trying to get more hours done. You know what I mean? <sighs> Lord. Chilling. How's the weather by you? Are you guys getting that storm too? Hi, Sonny. How are you? I hope everybody is doing well. Sorry, I got some... You know what, though? You're doing okay? I'm glad. How's the baby? Is he feeling all right? Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to. Oof! That, I mean, uh, you got to take the good with the bad, right? So I'm glad you only got a dusting, but it rains here. It rains here. I can't wait to be back in Florida, y'all. cannot wait. I call amen. Amen. Aw, I'm sorry. I'll tell you what. I've, I've had suspected COVID, right, a few times. I was never diagnosed with COVID until recently. And let me tell you something. <laughs> I still, to this day, am fighting fatigue like I haven't felt since when I had mono as a teenager. I have never, like, I am always so tired. Um probably like the end of April, but I'll be in a different place. You know? I don't, oh shit, I never checked my email. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Right, I feel like, like it's taking so long for me to, you know, but y'all, like seven o'clock, I'm ready for bed. Like, and, and that's not right. Like I get up at 10, I'm done, I'm done. And like, I don't know, like, that's not like me. Like, normally I'm go, 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 go. You know what I mean? Not lately. Not lately. I didn't check my email, Dawn. I'm sorry. Ugh. Yeah. So the cough, did they give you uh, breathing treatments? Do you need to do them? So there's a lot of... Here's the thing with something like this. Oh, Dawn, are you still here? I will tell you one thing. Mm. Yeah, the, the cough, the cough is, um, the cough is something. I still have a little bit of a cough, but nothing like the headaches and the fatigue. Nothing. Honestly. And it's like every single day. Yesterday, right, because I'm, I'm deep in, in dress. Like I have most of what I need. I just got to like 
pull it from Dropbox and organize it, but Lord, I thought it was her voice giving me the headaches because I was like, I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. But the headaches and the fatigue are fucking brutal, brutal. I'm trying to get, um, somebody commented, I mean, it's a possibility, right? It's definitely a possibility. Um, I don't know. Uh, so I think that I got to tread carefully here. Um, I think that is right. Like, I think it's a possibility. I think that here's the thing, right? She glamorizes that, that life, right? And, and listen, right? I grew up, this is not something that I, that I, that I really talk about, right? Because, because you, you don't, people that are really in that life, you really don't talk about it, right? I think that, like, when I was growing up, right? When I was like, I don't know, when I was growing up, I'm from Staten Island, so like I had, I had very close ties to the mafia, very close ties to the mafia, right? And and I think that when you live that life, you you're just very shush about things. You know what I'm saying? And I, I have a hard time believing it. You know, I, I do. And and I'm not saying that to be like mean or, <clears throat> but I'll be honest. Like I really don't believe much that comes out of her mouth at this point, to be totally honest. Um, I think that it's um, it's unfortunate, right? And, and, and it's a maturity thing too, right? Absolutely a maturity thing. Ever, ever, like ever, right? That's just not something that you talk about on phones anywhere. You just don't, right? And as I've grown up and like, my, my maturity level changed, right? Do I, th listen, I understand that there are good guys that do bad things and there are bad guys that do bad things. Jessica Kent, um, to me, I understand that difference, right? And I think that's kind of why I, I empathize a little bit with Jason, who is her husband, is because I feel sorry for him. You know what I mean? Like, I, I do feel sorry for him because anybody that has been institutionalized at any point in time, that's all they have is the connection to the outside world, right? Lord, listen to me. Hi. I, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll give you a little, I was working on something different, so I'm going to take that away, and then I'll show you what I've been doing, right? I had 71 videos of hers that I wanted to go through, and then, like, take notes, and, and stop from there, right? Are you ready for this? This is all pages of writing, notes, right? So I think that, uh, so listen, here's the, uh, torture, they, <laughs> they should use it as torture, like straight up. And, and I think that like knowing what I know now, right, hearing it, cause I used to like her y'all, like I used to like her and, and I feel, I just feel like I just feel like now knowing what I know, I, I just can't, I, I can't. And I'm surprised that it took me so long to see it, but I really wasn't watching it like that, you know, because it's, it's, it's all there. Um, I did speak to Angela, who for those that don't know is um, Robbie's, Robbie is, is one of the dudes on her Rasta from September, right? Um, I spoke to Angela and, and Robbie is going to answer some questions. 
So I've been trying to do that too. It's been busy on my side of the phone, y'all. Hi, Crazy Gigi, how are you? I hope everybody's doing well. I can't wait to be back in Florida and it'll be South Florida too. So I am just like daydreaming, you know? Oh, I'm sorry, Pickles, I missed that. Oh, I feel you, I feel you. I feel like knowing what I know now, I can't go back. I just can't go back. Uh, <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I really hope, honestly, I really hope that that man is just sitting back. Because listen, when I was in family court, like with my divorce and stuff like that, I walked a fine line. I walked a fine line, dude. And the public spectacle is just you know what i'm saying <sighs> and and here's the here's the crazy thing y'all all she had to do was acknowledge it right yes i fucked up and and i dramatized these stories to build a platform and that's why i posted what i did today and i think that that's important right because you're portraying these stories as your own baby so that like i would i think that parasocial relationships people bond with what they're seeing they're bonding with you telling these stories and those stories are not yours you don't think that they deserve some acknowledgement i do ash are you here oh. That's what I'm saying, guys. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know how y'all are in the chat. Oh, it's been fun. It's been fun. Right. I know, Kelsey. It's wild. Um. So, so here's the here's how I feel about it. Right. With great power comes great responsibility. Right. And I came across another video that somebody else posted today. Um of where they were saying um they were saying uh how oh there's a screenshot of her using the ensler so she posted it saying like how does somebody with a million followers like this is somebody to look up to and so i got tagged in it obviously because that's what happens like i'll stalk and tagged in videos that are about her you know what i mean and i'm just like you know, like, how crazy is this? You know, and that's what it comes down to, right? Is like, I'm sorry, I'm like shivering. So my phone is probably moving. Hold on. Um, so like, those people that, that look up to you, you don't think they deserve it? Like, we're human, right, y'all? Like, I make mistakes every single day, right? Every single day. You know what I do, though? I try to recognize those mistakes and change it. Hi. So, like, at what point is it? Is it just... And I'll be honest. Like, I really thought about quitting. And I'm not a quitter, right? And, and I'll tell you why. Because to me, the tides of... Like, it's, it's change, right? So, to me, I'm putting all this time and energy into something when people already aren't messing with her you know what i mean that's just how i feel about it call me crazy how are you doing rochelle i saw something from you recently that i was like hmm. i don't remember what it was though i'm tired <sighs> anybody doing anything for valentine's day I gotta talk to riots. I've been talking with, with Spanish dad. Is he here? Let me get him in here because we've been talking about um, the Cheer Choice Awards, right? And 
wig and I've been debating going, right? I've been I've been sitting on it for a minute, right? Because obviously I'll have money coming in, right? So like I'm looking at paying every yeah, I will. I'm looking at getting rid of Lily Tay, like taking that off the thing, and I'm debating going. And Riots and I were talking about it last night. Hi. And then, uh, then, <gasps> Spanish Dad was live earlier, and, and I was in there for a bit, but then Riots must have gone in after I left. And like, so I was having, this is weird, right? So I was having this conversation with Riots, and then I was having this conversation with Spanish Dad, and then they wound up having the conversation without me. So apparently, where we wound up is we're getting matching pajamas. And I don't know how we got there, Unless they come in, it was just like a text message like, oh, by the way, I was just in Javi. She calls him Javi. Hold on. I said, she said, I was just in his life. We may or may not have been planning to have Hugh Hefner pajamas and sleepover at the awards thing. Probably should have told you because you're going. I made my, I made up your minds. And, and I think that it's important for people to know that like riots is like, riots is my day one, right? Like, Riots is who I call at four in the morning when I'm vomiting. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, <laughs> oh, Valentine's Day. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been single. Riots has decided. <laughs> I haven't been single in a long time, y'all. It's been a long time. Right? Like, so you figure out when, when I met my ex, I was single for three and a half years right? I had been separated from my then ex-husband for three and a half years. So like, uh, you know, and, and with my ex, it was, um, Valentine's day and then our anniversary is the next day. So I'm going to keep myself busy. No, you're good. Yeah, Valentine's Day, it's just another day. You know what I mean? But like, I do I do think I'm gonna go to the Cheer Choice Awards. It's it's on my, Spanish Dad can get us tickets to like the events and stuff. So really, it's just the hotel. And I haven't been to Vegas in, I haven't been to Vegas sober. It is. It is overrated. It is overrated. And I'll be honest, a period, Jersey. And you should feel loved and appreciated every day. So, right? Right? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I know that I need, like, a break from, like, everything. All of it. I just need a break from it all. And it's like... Spanish side, he's just a whole fucking vibe, right? Like, he just looks like he has so much fun wherever he goes. And I give that man credit, dude, because <coughs> <coughs> that poor man, what he puts up with from me is alarming. Also, you want to hear something weird? You want to hear something weird? Jessica Kent has Spanish dad blocked and they've never interacted. Spanish Dad is like literally probably one of the most positive people that I know. And that's why I, I keep him close. You know what I mean? Because I need some of that in my life. Yeah. Isn't that weird? He didn't know who she was. And I was talking to him. So before I started, like when I made the decision to do the series, right? I, I was talking to people around me like, what do you think? Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and he was one of them. And he said he, he didn't even know who she was. He tried to look up a page. It was gone. Blocked. He went to a backup. There it is. And he was like, why would she have me blocked? And I was like, mm. so, so that was that Chickabon. That's where I went with it. And that kind of like smoothed my decision, right? Because why if you... And for the most part, his his content is positive. Like, it's it's funny. It's not really 
trauma-ish. You know what I mean? And him and I were talking because we're both so done, like, with the, with the drama and shit. Like, I'm so over it. So is he. So we're, we're talking about something different. But he, um, yeah, isn't that wild? What do you got him blocked for? He's not. He's not. And, and I'll tell you what. He is one of the most middle of the way people that I know. Honestly. You know? Because, like, like, yeah, I guess that's true, too. I guess that could be right, but why block? You could just choose not interested. Like, you went out of your way to block him, you know? That's weird to me. That gives me, like, makes my stomach talk to me, you know? I don't know. It's just how I feel about it. Again, my opinion, right? Um, I did see, I, I've been slacking. Hi, Miss Chris, how are you? I've been slacking on my notifications, y'all. I, I, I know. But, like, I'm really trying to get this done so that I could move on. Because right now, it's just making me want to not deal with that at all. But I saw on my Reddit homepage uh, a fancy spiral, I guess, from last night, Chrissy. Right, like, I am not interested all the time. I do it all the time. It's just that I don't want to see it, right? But again, like, I really don't scroll TikTok like that. Ooh! She's a strange bird, dude. A strange bird. <laughs> and, like, I haven't watched and It's been a few days because I've just been trying to get this this done. Um, But it's a block somebody. Do you, do you guys remember when I didn't block anybody? God, times have changed. I block with the quickness now. I really don't scroll TikTok much. Ah, the good old days, right? Remember? I wouldn't block you. I would let you come until all that shit in my comment section, and I wouldn't block you. But that was when, like, I feel like I had something to prove. You know what I mean? Now I'm just <laughs> blocked. <laughs> and I hold that in my real life, too, y'all. Like, mm -mm, block. <laughs> blocked. Quick. Um, but I don't really scroll TikTok. Like, I'll watch lives, right? But, but I really don't go through videos much. You know what I mean? <laughs> Riot! Are you an idiot? Bruh! <laughs> so, I have what I refer to people as, like, my outside conscience, right? <laughs> Um, there are certain people, right? Because this, especially when, when, <laughs> uh, no, no, nah, hold on a second, um, hold on, um, I forgot what I was saying, so, like, I have people that I will, like, if there's something in my mind and I'm not sure about it, um, I I'll ask somebody else, right? And, and, and she is, she's telling me I need to be less, more stabby and less savvy, right? And there's a story there, I'll tell you. Um, so if you've been around a while, you know that, uh, years ago, I told my an ex-boyfriend that if he didn't get my name removed, I was gonna, you know? So, um, <laughs> I was talking to her the other night at 4 a.m., uh, and I, <laughs> I was telling her, like, I'm sick to my stomach, I can't, I can't, and she was like, we need to get you back because I was a different person before my ex. I was a very different person. I was a savage. I did not give a shit about anyone, right? And and that's how I look at it. I look at it as this, this is my karma, right? Like I shouldn't have done all those things. I shouldn't have done it, right? However, <laughs> she was like, we need to get you more stabby and less sandy. Like get you back to that point. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was funny. So I just sent her a screenshot of something. And she says, he's off his goddamn ass. She always makes me laugh. And that's one of the reasons that I really adore her. And she's quiet. You know what I mean? She really don't do what I do, you know? But she... We've been going back and forth with this conversation all day because, ugh, Lord. Somebody was in my comments today, Black Dove. She was saying that she doesn't get my notifications when I go live because I've been posting them over there. And she says she doesn't get, get she hasn't been getting them. And I said, like, when she commented on the, the JK vid that I just posted today, um, she said, she was like, I, I said, you know what? You're probably not on the right account. Like, this is my main account. I haven't used my other accounts. Some people don't deserve my energy, you know? And that's just where I'm going to leave it. And I think that, like, I'm just not going to do it right? I don't mean it like that. I mean, like, I'd never been in a relationship that I didn't cheat in, right? Like, I was always talking to dudes on the side. Like, I, I, I was never like that with him. Jamie, how are you? I, I, I didn't do that with him, right? And I was on the receiving end of a bunch of crap, right? So that's my karma. And, and I, when I tell you, if I am single for the rest of my life, I am Gucci, Gucci. Don't need it. Don't want it. I have some things that I need to work on this year and that's where my focus needs to be. You know? Just how I feel. In my opinion. You know? I know. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. There's a couple of people that like you know, if I'm used to seeing people around here, there, everywhere and if I don't see them I'll, I'll comment or like send them a DM like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Are you good? Hello. Hi. Just been, I feel that, Jamie. I feel that. I was just saying, I can't wait to. How's the weather in Texas? Oh, Ash, are you still here? This is a banger. Um, I, I can't wait to be back in Florida. Hi, Jamato. Cool today. What's cool, though? Listen, listen to me. I refuse, Dramato. <laughs> it's a good one. Hey, girl, this love affair that we got going it has me so confused. My temperature is quickly rolling. Oh, so listen. Listen, I've been seeing, I've been seeing Paisley post it, right? I've, I've been seeing it. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> I refuse, y'all. It is a hard boundary for me at this point. Like, I just... Nope. I know there's madness there, though. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Trust me. I'll tell you what it is right now. Oh. Oof, I would take it. One. 41. Let's see where it is where I'm going. Oh, I'm telling you, dude. Hold on. 75. Mm. That's, I see, 50 isn't bad, right? Like, I'm, listen. You would think that I would be... Um, my daughter's in Indiana and she's been complaining about it. Um, I've been, you would think that like being born and raised in New York, right? That, that cold weather wouldn't phase me. When I got here, I froze my ass off. <laughs> right. So I feel you, Jamie. Like I'm freezing, freezing, freezing. And like my brother will look at me and be like, it's really not that cold. And I'm like, I'm freezing, I'm freezing. But it is 75. 
in South Florida. I can't wait, y'all. I can't wait. I know. I know. She does look amazing. These are a few people that I, that I keep up with that have been on like a weight loss journey. One of the, um, what's her name? Kim and a bottle of wine. Um, listen, um, I hate the cold. Like, I feel like I was like, obvious, I'm a New Yorker, right? Through and through. However, I don't think, I think I was born in the wrong place. <laughs> But and a bottle of wine too. She lost a bunch of weight and she looks amazing. And like, that's hard work. You know what I mean? I have my thick Ugg comforter here. It does it. Because here's the crazy thing. I also like to be cold while I sleep. Right? So it's like the perfect... I don't know. Like I sleep in like shorts and a sports bra and, and the blanket is just perfect. It does. It doesn't. It does it. Yeah. I don't know. It's something weird about me. I hate being cold, but when I sleep, I do like it to be cold. But, but I'll tell you what, I have the real, real thick uh, comforter. It's like a heated blanket. Happy to say how I am. It is. It's like a weighted blanket because it's super heavy. I love it though. Right. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There he is. We were talking about you. That's why I sent you the link. I'm good. I'm good. Did I? <laughs> uh, we were talking about. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> um, I am. I'm doing the best I can. You know what I mean? I, I, we were talking about the Cheer Choice Awards and how riots and you guys made up like this whole pajama party. I know, I, I know, I didn't do it. <laughs> Stop. But it's, I just, I just sent you a screenshot. People are wild. Yeah, I, I, it sounds like fun. It does sound like fun. It really does. I'm, I'm weighing it. I'm weighing, I'm weighing it. I'm weighing it. But we were talking about how you were live today. And, and he just came from, he just went from Florida back to where he lives. And, and that's the first thing I said. I said, it's got to be, the weather change has to be sickening, you know, because going from like perfect weather to like a snowstorm is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I'm debating it. I'm debating it. <laughs> um, I've been thinking more and more about it, right? Because like, my siblings and I also discussed going back to Mexico. Well, my brother and I really, and and like going back and staying in the same place and leaving like some of my mom there, since like that was like the last place that we were all together outside of the hospital. But I think that, and like Spanish dad is a whole vibe. Like he's like, he's like my pocket therapist, right? Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about it because I looked it up. I know, that's what I'm saying. And, and you're fun. Like, I, well, you weren't here, but I was saying, I'm like, he's like positive. And like, every, he's, whole, he's like a whole vibe, you know? And Lord knows that like some days um, I need to be, you know, riots tells me I need to be more stabby and less saddy. See, I've always wanted to go to Australia, boy mom, but since 9-11, right, that's what I'm saying. Since 9-11, I have, like, plain anxiety, right? Like, it, it makes me super nervous, and that's a long flight. I've been a lot of places, y'all. Like, I used to travel a lot, a lot, but I haven't been to Vegas, not since I got sober. Like, I haven't been to Vegas, maybe 2009, but there are a few places that I do want to go that the flight makes me go, eh, you know, and, and Australia is one of them. <laughs> Australia is one of them. Another one is the Maldives. 
that's another one for me. Like, I'm dying to go, but you'd have to, like, knock me out to get me on the flight. <laughs> so that's, like, I've been to Belize, um, Mexico, and all over the Caribbean, but never, like, South America. Because, like, to me, like, I was just, like, might be a bad idea. You know what I mean? There was a point in my life where I was like, you know, but we don't like, we don't live like that no more. <laughs> Fiji's another one. My sister-in-law went to Fiji for her honeymoon. Listen to me. I got married in St. Lucia. Oh, um. Oh my God. That, that, <laughs> that would make me so nervous. That would make me so nervous. I got married in St. Lucia. And um, I was really worried because when you have an international marriage, right? I was like, do I have to go back? Like, do we have to go back to get a divorce? Because like, you know, at that point, but that that's crazy. At least it's an experience, right? Like life is the sum of our experiences, right? And, and I think that I look at things much different when it comes to memories. Like, I am so grateful that, that we had Mexico, right? Because it was before things had really declined. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that that's priceless, you know? Uh-uh. Nope. Somebody, 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 where, did, where was that video? On, oh, oh. What's that guy? He posted a video and there was spiders. Like negative, negative. Look, you could see how much I'm writing. <laughs> My daughter's talking about, you saw it? Who, what's his name? I forget his name. He's a big TikToker too. Hi, how are you? God damn it, why can't I remember his name right now? Yes. That is the shit that nightmares are made of, y'all. To me, anyway. I am not a um, mm -mm, negative. I, could, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Like, there aren't many things that I'm afraid of. You know what I mean? Insects. Hey, I love to hear it. I love to hear it. I'm happy for you. Right, me too. I saw a TikTok like a, a while ago of like somebody that was in an Airbnb in Florida and there was a palmetto bug and like they didn't know what it was and it and like they were freaking out, freaking out and then it flew and they about died. It was hilarious. Yes, I, I, I haven't been around much, y'all. Like I, I really, I've been busy off the apps, you know? And, and I, I have some things that I need to get done so that I can move on from it. No, listen to me. I've, se I've seen some huge bugs, though, in Florida. Huge. Like, no thank you. No thank you. And now I won't be, like, with a man to tell him, go kill that. You know what I mean? What am I going to do about that? <laughs> like, that's my biggest concern. You know what I mean? Who's going to kill the... The insects. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Negative. Right? No. Nope. Nope. Aw, oh, thank you. It's definitely an experience, right? Like, it takes some getting used to, right? And then I feel like I'm keeping myself busy and then I'll it'll just pop in my head. You know what I mean? So I try to do the best I can. And the people around me have been fantastic, honestly. Just really, like, I couldn't ask for better support, you know? And it's, it's a lot when you think about it, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. There's nothing I could do about it. I try to remember that the way that it was, like, in the end, like, like the last week, she didn't want that. You know what I mean? And, and like, 
I feel sorry for my siblings. Like that's where most of my energy is spent, right? Because I can't imagine having no parents at 19. Like it's a lot. And then that in turn gives me pressure, right? Because I'm all they have, you know? So it's like this big, I don't want to say tug of war, but kind of, you know? Right, and like, that's the thing. Like the last, I want to say five months, maybe, she was miserable, right? Like crying all the time. And like, that's not what anybody wanted, right? Like, hi, nobody wanted suffering there, you know? And 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 I don't think, like if, if she didn't have us, she would have never done the treatment to begin with. That's where I'm at. Like after watching that, nope. You could, like, if, if they came and told me I had cancer and if I didn't get treatment, I'd have six months to live. I would live those six months to the best of my ability. I would not live that way. Hi, baby. I just, I wouldn't. That's just me, though. And I, and I think that that's a, it's a personal choice, right? And in the end, what she wants, I'm actually kind of going through it hi trolley's mom how are you i'm going through like my siblings and, and i are going through it my uncle wants to put uh some of her ashes in a mausoleum that's not what my mother wanted right and it's not i know they don't have bad intentions right they want to put her with her, her mother and her brother and whatever but i might by doing that, right, I am disregarding what my mother told me my entire life, which is, do not put me in the ground, do not, you know what I'm saying, right, and and so it's it's a little bit of a, a thing, right, but I feel like it shouldn't even have to be discussed, though, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Stop it. It's a great idea, actually. <laughs> right and 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 i uh, we've been trying to cut my siblings and i have been trying to come up with a way to have that conversation um he'll be here i think this weekend he's coming down here you know right and and i mean i don't i won't want to lie like what do i need to lie for like that's not what she wanted so that's not what we're doing right why is it a uh, a thing <laughs> it shouldn't be thank you grace it shouldn't be you know and and there was no question in in my mind right because you got to remember like the list while my mother was going to treatment we spent a lot of time in the car right and so there were conversations that we had that they weren't hard conversations like they were hard conversations but they had to be had right and and i'm so grateful for that time you know but at the same time, there were things that she told me that, that she wanted done, right? And that morning, remember, I had COVID, so I couldn't go to the hospital. And like that morning when my sister called me and, and she said she's done. And, and I, you know, my brother and I both with COVID rushed to the hospital and, um, she had told them, she told the doctor. So she kind of took that. I would have never done that anyway. Like I knew that that is not what she wanted, right? That if it ever came down to it, don't, don't leave me, you know, no life preserving measures. So I would have never gone against that, but she did it herself and kind of took it away from us, you know? So like, even in the end, she made things easy, I guess. Because nobody wants to do that, right? <laughs> nobody wants to do that. <laughs> stop. So we did separate her. Like, we all have some of her. And, and that's the way that it'll it'll stay. We did ask, like, my, sit, my aunts, my kids want some of her. My kids were really close to my mom. You know what I'm saying? And they lost 
one and then lost the other the next year. So they're having a party a minute. My daughter had to like leave. So it's a requirement. I don't know what's on this music. It's a requirement. <laughs> it's a requirement for um for her to do either a winter or a summer semester. She she was doing winter semester this this semester, and uh and they they took it back. Like she had to drop it because winter and summer classes in college they move fast right i know she would <laughs> i know she would but i wouldn't lie like i'm not the kind of person like i don't feel the need to lie you know so i don't i don't think <laughs> right she would my mom had a really good sense of humor and that's like one of the things that like like going through the, the pictures and stuff just to like <laughs> going through the pictures and stuff like my mom legitimately lived like 10 different lifetimes you know what i'm saying she had me at 16 busted high ass worked three jobs put herself through nursing school got married and like she married like this super rich guy right the guy that paid for us to go to mexico and uh lived a very different life you know so it's it's like going through her pictures like she lived a good life sure like things weren't always easy but that's life like my life isn't easy right now you know what i mean <laughs> riots riots i was telling them about be more stabby less sadie <laughs> and how like you're becoming my outside conscience like More stabby, less sandy, period. Maybe I should get that tattooed on me. <laughs> Charlie, what do you want? <sighs> well, thank you. I can't. I couldn't do it, though. Right? We should. We should. I think that, um, I don't know, y'all. Life is just life, right? Well, have a good day. I ho I'm glad. I'm happy for you. I'm so. I'm really. I'm glad that you have gotten out of that thing. No, no, no. You're good. It, this is just how life goes these days. You know what I mean? It wasn't you. <laughs> I'm. I'm just like. Oh, me love y'all. My appetite is a problem. It is a problem, right? And I know I've talked about this before where like if I try to force myself to eat, hi, I'll just throw it up and that becomes like counterproductive in me trying to put any weight gain on because I lose double. But it's a problem. It, it's a real problem. I went to my doctor, I want to say like maybe two weeks ago. No, I'm sorry. It was before a weight... It was before my mom's um, celebration of life, right? Listen, it's completely normal for me to go two, three days without eating, right? Like, that's normal in my entire adult life. I have always been that way, right? But now it's like a problem. And, and I was talking, I talked to him about it briefly, right? Because I, I get into this pattern where, like, anxiety, right? anxiety is is a problem for me these days right <clears throat> and, and see and that's the thing like i don't know that that's the right choice for me in the headspace that i'm in right now you know what i'm saying and and i think that that is me being responsible no i snack but i don't eat like it, it's a problem but um so he gave me a medication to to try to help even now, y'all listen to this. He gave me a medication to try to help, like a non-narcotic anxiety med to help with my anxiety. I lost the prescription. <laughs> I lost the prescription. Okay. I I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. And uh, the other day, my brother and I were in Wawa. And, and, and I found it in my wallet. Mm. So, 
there's that. But but I, I think that the primary, right? Like, because I always try to look for, like, why, right? Like, and, and I'm pretty good at identifying the why, right? So that is, it's it comes down to anxiety. And I, <laughs> I have anxiety like I have never had before. Like, so before I, I, I did like EMDR, like I would have panic attacks and like nightmares were a thing, all that, right? I don't have that anymore. I just have like this constant state of anxiety constant so like it and it did it got better for a long time a long time and and granted like there was like the last well the last year right of my life has been the hottest year of my life like hands down easiest the hottest year of my life right but like I, I, the anxiety has never been like a driving emotion for me. Does that make sense? Like, yes, I had PTSD and I had panic attacks, but I didn't feel like I didn't feel anxiety all the time. But now it's like all I know. And I've been, like I said, like I know that I am using the deep dive as a distraction, right? I am aware of it. You know what I'm saying? Do I think that it's healthy? I think it's the healthiest thing that I got right now. You know what I mean? So, so I did get the shadow work journal, right? But I have, I, right, same. CPTSD, right? So in my head, right? I know that I have the shadow earth journal, but I'm I'm self-aware enough to know that now is not the time to be digging up those wounds, right? Like I need to just keep myself busy, right? Once I get back to Florida, I can focus on the projects that I have going on that y'all soon hear about, right? But I need to like just stay even keeled enough until I could get back to Florida and and get to therapy, right? Um, um, right, and that's the thing, right? Like, I think that I have to be conscious of it, right? You know what I mean? I think that I have to stay focused right now. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Am I writing a box? I don't know what that means. Right, and and like I'm trying to keep, I am writing a book. It's actually almost done, by the way. Oh, I can't wait. No, 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 Christy, I 1000% I get it, right? But in the end of October, like things significantly changed, right? And in, in a lot of different areas of my life, and like, to me, to me, right? To me, I'm very good at compartmentalizing. I, I, everybody is not, I get it. I am, right? And I know that about myself, it will be. So I just move things to the side, focus, and then pick it up later. Does that make sense? Does that, like, I hope that that makes sense because I know that now is not the time to be dealing with grief, right? In multiple different areas of my life, right? Because losing a relationship is still grief. You still have to grieve, right? So like, I know that now is not the right time to be digging all that crap up. It's just not. But, but here's the thing, right? I'm self-aware enough to know it. You know what I mean? Hi, and and that's just where I'm at. Hey, you, where have you been? Oh boy. Um, yeah, I I think that I think that I wasn't always like that. Like I think that even at the worst of my addiction, right? Like I think that I was still pretty like. I don't know. 
Can I? Can I? I used to be able to. I used to be able to really well, too. Um, now, there seems to be just one person that that is extremely detrimental to, to me. And, and for some reason, I don't know what it is. I think that the last month has been very, very eye-opening in that aspect. It is hard. And, but, like, here's the thing, right? Like, I don't really do things with bad intentions, right? I really don't. So, like, even there, like, go be your best self, right? I used to be like that. I could do it with everybody else. Everybody else. Don't give a shit who you are. Family members, cut off. You're toxic. <laughs> Done. Blocked for years, right? I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I have been the last week or so. Uh, Chickabon, I've been there, right? Right, I, I've been there. But like the last... Maybe since, maybe since my mom died, right? I think that I was expecting something and, and hey, great, partially my fault, right? Never expect, right? I think that I was expecting, hi, lady eyes. I think that I was expecting support from somebody that wasn't capable of it. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just what it comes down to, right? Like people, different people are capable of different things, right? And if you are capable of, of, I don't know, I can't explain that. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, but ugh, I, I'm over it, honestly, like all the way over it. And like, I think that it gets easier I will say that. I think that it gets easier. I think that I just, there are certain things that I am not willing, willing to budge on, right? And you could be the best person in the world, right? But if you talk to me worse than you talk to a dog, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It, that's true too, right? And But here's the thing. Some people... I, I'm about to blow your minds. Some people think that, that they are intimate, right? However, <laughs> they're lying to themselves, right? So you have this thing where like people that, that lie to themselves like in their minds, right? They're not capable of that level of intimacy. Does that make sense? Protecting my peace is key. And, 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 you know, I just, there, there are certain places that I am willing to give my energy at this point. And that's truly what it comes down to. And if you know that, right, you know, <laughs> You know that I am refusing to dedicate or pour energy into something that is not beneficial to me in any way, right? Wouldn't once, wouldn't me telling you once be enough or no? I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. You know what I mean? But I think that like when like expecting support out of people that just aren't capable of doing that is like where I get myself in trouble in, in multiple different situations too, right? Because I keep expecting people to be what I am to them, to me. And it burns me every single time, every time. And it's, it's a lesson, right? <laughs> I love Jen. Jen's good people. I know that's right, girl. I know that's right. I know that's right. I know that's right. Hi, Pippi. How are you? You're coming in just as I'm ending. I'll put it up on YouTube, though. 
I think that that's a lesson that we all have to go through, right? Life is just a series of lessons, right? Some of them are good, some of them are bad, right? I think that I'm at the point where I'm just trying to learn better lessons, if that makes sense. Sorry. <laughs> Every day. Amen, lady eyes. Amen. Right? And, and I thought that I got better at it, though. Yes. I thought that I got better at it with, with um, understanding that everybody's different and, and everybody um, does things different. And, and that's just the truth of it. But I think that at this point, I am just so over it right like and and if i tell you what i need and and you ignore that blatantly and continue is it my fault i don't know hi covid dude since i got covid the headaches are wild wild uh, that's what i'm saying and and like that's it right you could either get with it or get on because i am not compromising that for anybody nobody nobody nah and that's the problem too right but i think that over time lady eyes i, I am a firm believer and everything happens for a reason i'll text you in a bit everything happens for a reason y'all everything happens for a reason and sometimes things have to go the way they do for you to learn that lesson right facts and and ugh, see but that i think that that's another thing pippy right because that's what kept me there right is is the connection but if that connection isn't good for you or your mental health, is it a real connection? If you're connecting to what you think they are and not who they actually are, is it a connection? I'm telling you guys, I've been busy. <laughs> Where's Ryan? Bingo. Bingo. Bingo, okay? And and I've been doing a lot of reading about that, right? And how the chemical dependency is very similar to that that you would see with drugs. And isn't that a bitch? It's interesting, thank you. We, my mom got all of us one. Um, and I'm telling you, for me, the best way to combat something is to learn about it, right? So there's been a lot of Reddit threads on that topic that where I'm just reading it, right? Because if I can recognize it, I could change it. You know what I'm saying? Period. And But that's the thing. I'm at the point, I'm not even trying. I'm really not. You could either get with it or get on, you know? Just how I feel about it. And and I know you and I have talked about that extensively. And I think that I'm trying to, I'm not, not even doing it, Pippi, not doing it. I, I tried, um, this is where I'm leading back to, right? Like, I think that I'm a, I am a hard learner, right, y'all? Like, I gotta make the same mistake quite a few times before I get it through my thick head, right? Mm, I learned a lot in the last month. And as I learned, I retreated, and I retreated, and I retreated, right? I'm good. To your choice of woods. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I will, uh, listen, I said this maybe before you were here. I am, mm, that is the problem, right, Chikavon? 
there's the problem because I still hold secrets for people I should not be holding secrets for, right? But I have learned not everybody deserves access to that type of loyalty, right? And you can't expect the type of loyalty that you give people for them to give to you because it is extremely rare these days or especially around these parts, you know? I am perfectly good being single for the rest of my life. I'm good. I am better than good. You know what I mean? I really am. Because to me, Mm, it's going to be hard to crack that wall. I, I promise you that. I know. I, I, they they had this whole plan. And, and Riot just texted it to me. Like, oh, we made up. We made this up. And I know Spanish Dad has the tickets. Like, he could get us into the events for free. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to end anyway. It's about my bedtime. I love your face. But... Mm-mm. Um, I will put it, I know there was a few people that said they had to leave. I'll put it on YouTube for anybody that missed it. I will. I'm always good. Even when I'm bad, I'm good. How about that? Um, yeah, no, you Pippi, Pippi, you're good because you came in late too. But I have to start getting these done and I needed a break from Jessica Kent because I wanted to bash my head into the wall. But on that note, have a good night and I hope if I don't talk to you I hope everybody has a happy Valentine's Day